Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the 2618 trading strategy, a simple trading strategy with a great winning rate. See you there. Hey guys, my name is Pierre and welcome to PIFX. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and make you a better trader. Each and every week I upload a new video about Forex trading, so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to get the notification each time I upload a new video. So today we're gonna talk about the 2618 trading strategy and know everything about it. It is a simple strategy, but with a very high winning rate. So let's dig in. What is the 2618 strategy? Well, it's very simple. All you need to see is a double top or a double bottom happening in the market. So in this example, we're gonna talk about the double top, but you can do the opposite when you have a double bottom uh, scenario. And I know many of you love those uh, uh, pattern when they happen, the double top and the double bottom. So again, we have a double top. We need to see that the neckline is broken. That is our confirmation of the double uh, top scenario. So it is never confirmed a double top before we have a break. So if this market would do something like this and start pushing higher, this is not a double top. But if the neckline gets broken, which means the market close below the neckline and keep trading lower, that is when this whole pattern is confirmed. So what's good about the 2618 that if you miss this uh, opportunity here, let's say the market is at an important level of structure where this double top happens. So if we say that we had the market here reversed strongly previously, we are waiting for the market to reach that resistance once again to trade it and you missed the trade. This strategy make you get rid of the FOMO or chasing the, the market down here. So that's why I do like it because if I miss a double top or a double bottom, I still could enter this market on uh, the uh, 2618 trading strategy. So the next step is we need to see the market start trading to the upside, making a correction. So as soon as the market start making a correction, then we know that this here is a low now in the market, a confirmed low since the market start moving higher. And that is when we can take our Fibonacci retracement tool, draw the uh, retracement from the highest high to the previous swing low that we had here. And that is when we got our 618 uh, retracement. So all we need to do, to do now is place our limit order, stop loss and targets and wait for the market to tag our order. So we're gonna put our limit order just below the 618, like one or two pips below it in case the market does not reach that level, a stop loss above previous highs. And the first target will always be the previous swing low. This would always be your first target. What's good up with this strategy is it always give you more than one to one, okay? At least one to one, but it is always more than one to one since you are waiting to six, uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement that will always give you a good risk to reward. So when and if the market reached that 618, it triggered your order and hopefully, okay, not sure, hopefully reverse and hit target, okay? So as I said, it is pretty simple strategy and um, it happens all the time in the markets and keep in mind, it could also keep pushing higher tag your stops and that's the way it is just you need to just live with it and uh, lately we have a we had a great uh, six, uh, 2618 uh, trade here on Aussie CAD we traded this uh, market in our trading room we uh, had the trade many of my students also I think took it so let's take a look a look at it how it looks like when you are trading a live chart so here we have a potential double top not a confirmed and the market start pushing lower and lower and lower and as you see here the market did break 
and close below the lowest low of this neckline. This candle here confirmed the neckline, uh, the neckline break. So we have a broken neckline. Okay, let's keep moving. The market kept pushing lower and then start correcting. So at this candle here, at when the market start to correct, we know that this could be our uh, previous swing low now, and it is time to draw our Fib retracement. This is the double top we are talking about. So from the highest high to the lowest low on this swing, and there we have our 618. Again, we put our limit order just below the 618, stop loss above the highs, okay, and target the lowest uh, previous low. I use to target the body of the candles. You want, if you want to, you can target the wicks, but I feel more safe to target the body. And even if we target the body of the previous swing low, as you see, we have 1.3R. We could also make a higher stop loss if you want to have more safety. And as you see, even if we go all the way above this previous high, you still have a one-to-one -one, um, uh, one -one risk ratio. So I would not normally put such a very wide uh, stop loss. So I would put it like this. Keep in mind, we're looking at the daily chart here and Again, limit order, that's all you have to do. Put Place your stop loss, entry, target, target one, of course, because this could keep moving uh, lower. So you could have uh, more targets, depends on the structure. So let's say you like this structure here as well. And if the market break target one, you could extend uh, the next target toward this area. So if we keep moving here, we see that the market came up, triggered our um, um, order, and uh, yeah, start moving to the downside. Kept moving, kept moving, slowly, target reached here already. And it could also, in this example only, could reach also your uh, target two as well. It is not always the case that we get target two. It is not always the case that we win these trades. As I said, this market could keep pushing all the way and stop you out. And that's the way it is. Now, if you want to spice it a little bit more and you want to trade it safe, let's say you do not like limit orders, you want something more safe, you could go to a lower time frame, keep everything as it is on the chart, and you go to a lower time frame like the uh, four hour, for example. And uh, we do this again here but this time we put our um, rsi on the chart and uh, yeah as you see we do the same here without an order this time because you want to play it safe and you're waiting for the market to give you signals so if we look at this chart when the market reached the 618 on the four hour time frame what happened on the rsi so on the rsi our swing high here is compared with this here on the RSI. And then if we draw a trend line toward the next stop, which represent where the price is right now, you see that on the RSI, we had a higher high already on the extreme overbought. And on the price, we do actually have a way lower low here, still very, very low compared to where the price is uh, was before. So this is what we call a hidden bearish divergence. That is a very strong signal for me that this trade may go uh, the right way. So you start looking for your entry reasons and uh, it's up to you and your uh, entry reason. Here you have at least the signal with that hidden bearish divergence. Again, we've got a nice bearish uh, pin bar here at the 618 four hour time frame. A candle that closed below that. This could be your entry, depends on your entry reasons. And uh, by the way, if you want to know more about entries, I will put a link in the description uh, or in the upper corner. 
uh, for you to read um, about uh, entries uh, and how to do them. So again, guys, the market did close below this, which means could be your entry signal here and uh, you could enter the trade uh, based on this pin bar and the candle that closed below it and we do the same here targeting previous low with a better um, stop loss um, placement here because we will not have as a bigger stop loss this time and you could just wait for this trade to play out it either move to your way uh, to, to target or stop you out okay so this is also uh, a way to do it if you want to play it safe but your stop loss gonna be a little bit uh, not so safe as uh, the one we did it before because we had our stop loss all the way above uh, this previous high yeah so in this case we were lucky we uh, saw the market going toward our entry. So uh, do not scare, be scared to try uh, different um, ways to enter it. But my recommendation is to put a limit order, stop loss above the previous high, targeting the previous swing low. That is the most important. Now, if you want to play it safe, you could go to lower time frame and find a better way that makes uh, sense for you is that okay so um, yeah guys that was it about the 2618 if you want to learn more about breakout trading watch this video that's coming after this one and see you next time